Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to import or add an integration to Oracle integration instance using REST API. This approach is useful when you try to automate the process of importing integrations from one environment to another environment for your continuous integration and continuous uh, development using any uh, automation uh, tool of your choice. So I'm here in the documentation uh, by Oracle for Oracle integration under integrations you have to go for this import or add an integration there is this post http method endpoint and uh, request media type uh, query parameter it's optional uh, file uh, this is a form data multipart so we are uploading a file over here in order to import uh, th this file is of type dot iar and the response uh, we have to give as application json uh, in case of success uh, uh, no content will be sent back uh, just we will get the status code as 204 in case of uh, any error uh, we, we are getting the response in application json format if you come to the curl command if you are using uh, any automation uh, tool which supports the curl command like a unix scripting and all you can go ahead with this i'm going to demonstrate this with the help of insomnia tool i have already created a integration which are exported uh, in my download section in my local computer when we export an integration we will be getting this dot iar file this is the same file which uh, we will be uploading uh, uh, in this multi-part form request to our uh, integration cloud as you see over here there is a example provided wherein uh, importing my integration.ir file into the uh, integration instance similarly we will import this .ir file first let me cross check if that uh, integration uh, is available in my instance or not if i search on this int underscore testing so this integration is not available now we'll go to insomnia tool and uh, we'll try to import this integration i've created a project in insomnia and i provided the endpoint that is ic api integration vi integrations archive as it is mentioned over uh, here in the documentation so this is of type post we can uh, click on this and change the method if not it's set to post by clicking on this post method coming to here multi-part uh, if this is not selected by default you can click on this uh, arrow button and select multi-part form now here we have to give the name in the form name and the, in the form value we have to click on this and select the file from your uh, local computer okay once uh, you have selected it will uh, display over here uh, similar thing uh, you will find in your uh, postman tool as well under basic i have set up uh, the basic authentication that is username and password coming to the headers when you select this multi-part form content type will be automatically selected like uh, content type multi-part slash form data only thing what i have put is a uh, a response that is application slash json if you want you can uh, add this character set uh, utf8 as well i'm not putting that so once done i'm click you can click on the send button yeah as you can see i got uh, 204 uh, no content message uh, what does that mean is uh, yeah 204 is uh, nothing but successful operation that is no json uh, response is sent back instead our integration should be available now in the console so let me refresh this yeah as you can see uh, our integration has been successfully imported in the instance so you can make use of this test api uh, in your automation tool and you can uh, achieve the automation of uh, oracle integration uh, migration from inst one instance to another instance uh, like a dev when you are migrating to test environment or the production we can make use of this without the human intervention